Hi, this is the part 2 video of how to extract email content from another email attachment. Uh, so, the last part of that video, um, I was having some technical issues. So, uh, this is where we stopped. The, we f I forgot to put the base64 conversion for that. So, here, if you look, that's a file content, we are getting it. So here, uh, you know, the content coming from the past JSON step, which I shown earlier in my uh, first part of the video, then all you need, need to do here is use the expression base64 to binary, then output of the file content, okay? Or you can directly map that file content from the past JSON step. Okay, so I'm going to run this and um, hopefully this should run now and uh, get that invoice attachment from that EML file. Okay, so it looks like flow flow uh, ran successfully here. Let me refresh this. So here it is, sample in moist PDF. If I open that, see, I got the extraction now from that email content. Remember. The email content was, uh, you know, I, I put that under here uh, as the demo email attachment content this was. Inside that, I have got that sample invoice. So, you know, this is a technique we did. Uh, so, you know, we used a couple of uh, technologies here. One, uh, we need to use uh, Azure Functions, then we had to use uh, the editor as Visual Studio Code. And then portal Azure also we need to host that function uh, that is doing the extraction job for us and then it returns the value back as an array of uh, contents array of attachments and then uh, you know um, the, the one important thing here to remember here is uh, convert that into the base uh, 64 uh, one that's important here base 64 to binary remember this okay um, hope uh, this is useful uh, thank you for watching if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you.